in the country retreat where Winston Churchill spent so much of the war. A welcome for a man now so often compared to him. President Zelensky was flown by military helicopter to Chequers for a surprise visit ending a whistle-stop tour of Europe, greeted and honoured by the Prime Minister. Winston Churchill made many of his famous speeches in World War II from this room. And in the same way today, your leadership, your country's bravery and fortitude are an inspiration to us all. There was plenty of symbolism in a place steeped in wartime history and some substance, promises of attack drones and more missiles. But President Zelensky is warning allies without more support, his military's long-awaited counter-offensive could be delayed. We really need some, some more time. Not too much. And there was yet another plea for Ukraine to be sent Western warplanes. Today we spoke about the jets, very important topic for us because we can't control the sky. We want to create this uh, jets coalition and I'm very positive with it. We spoke about it and I see that in the closest time you will hear some. While the two leaders were meeting in Moscow, the Kremlin angrily condemned the military package Britain's announced its giving. Comments that were dismissed by the Prime Minister. I think it's important for the Kremlin to also know that we're not going away. Right. We are here for the long term. We remain steadfast in wanting to defend Ukraine, not just now to reclaim its rightful territory, but also to ensure that Ukraine has the means to defend itself into the future as well. Ukraine is still keeping the world guessing about its long-awaited counteroffensive and when it will begin. And the longer that wait goes on, the more doubts will grow about its ability to wage it effectively. From the idyllic beauty of the English countryside, President Zelensky flies back to a war-torn country, the promises of Europe's leaders ringing in his ears. Promises he's heard before, but is still no closer to victory. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News at Chequers.